Hello, third grade students. What we're going to be focusing on today is partial products involving using an array. So let's go ahead and look at our story problem. We see here that Elne has 23 toys in each box. She has four boxes. So how many toys does she have in all? Well, first, I can start color coding, and this will help me out finding what kind of multiplication sentence I need to write. <clears throat> well, let me look at the story problem and first identify the equal groups, because the equal groups always go first in a multiplication sentence. Well, not always, but so far they do. So, she has four boxes. Looks like that is my equal groups because there's 23 toys in each box. I'm going to go ahead and color code four boxes right here. And I'm going to write a, uh, my number sentence right below. Four boxes. We're going to see. We're going to use four boxes times and then how many are in each box? Well, we see that Elna has 23 toys in each box. So let's go ahead and color code 23 toys. Also, in blue, because they're both factors. Remember that factors are the numbers used in a multiplication sentence. So 23 toys in each box. 23 toys in each box. So here is my multiplication sentence. Now I labeled my multiplication sentence, both factors, I labeled it my equal groups and then how many in each group to help me understand how I'm going to write and draw uh, my multiplication, my array that represents this multiplication sentence. So let's go ahead and draw our array to represent four boxes of 23 toys. So I'm first going to start out by drawing one group of 23, because we can also say that four boxes, well, one box will have 23 toys in it. So I'm going to draw my array right here. I have 10. 20, and then I gotta draw my ones. 1, 2, 3. So we can see that this is one group of 23. We have four more to go. Let's draw that. There's 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 10, 20, 1, 2, 3. I have one more to go, I think. One, 10, 20, 1, 2, 3. So you notice that right here I have one row or one group of 23 toys. And there's actually four different rows or four different groups of 23 toys. This is why this array represents this multiplication problem. Now we can go ahead and label our array with multiplication sentences related to partial products. So what I'm going to do is actually separate the tens from the ones. And now I'm going to label just my tens over here, right there. So what multiplication sentence represents just this array right here with the tens? Well, you can say that it is four groups of 23, excuse me, 20. Because right here I do have 20, right here I have 20, right here I have 20, and right here I have 20. So I do have four groups of 20. Now what about this array? Just the ones right over here. 
I can say that I have one, two, three, four groups, again, of three. <gasps> Look at that. Four groups of three. Now, these are our partial products. This is one part of the problem, and here is another part of the problem. If I get the products of these two parts and then add them together later, then I have my total amount of toys. So what is my first partial product for 4 times 20? Well, that's going to give us 80. I'm running out of room here. What is my uh, other partial product for 4 times 3, or 4 groups of 3, or 4 rows of 3? That is, well, 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 9, and then plus 3 more is 12. So there I have my partial products. One partial product here, and one partial product here. Now what I can do is I can organize this. I'm going to organize this right over here. So I'm going to do 4 times 20, and that gave me 80 toys. And then I can do 4 times 3, and that gave me, notice how I line this up really nice and neatly into 1s and 10s. 4 times 3 is 12. And now I'm going to just simply, excuse me, let me get the right colors, add my two partial products to get my final product. So there's 2 and 92. 92 is my final product. And also is my answer. So let me label my, my answer. Because what we're actually doing is trying to figure out how many toys does she have in all. So I'm going to write 92 toys in all. And that is it for using an array to show partial products to help me find the partial products and then eventually find the final product. Now you can stop the video here and you can practice or you can just go on to something else. But I'm going to review all the steps that I just did for those students that were a little confused as I was going along. First, I read the problem. Elne has 23 toys in each box. She has four boxes. How many toys does she have in all? And then I wrote a multiplication sentence that represents this story problem, or what's going on in the story problem. Then, I focused on drawing an array. My array, I first drew one group of 23. I have four groups of 23 toys. So there's one group, two group, three group, four group. And then, I split the array into parts and I focused on the tens. So how many groups of 20 do I have? How many groups of 20 do I have? So I have four. And that's how I got this partial product. And then I focused on just the ones, the array representing the ones. Four groups of three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. 4 times 3 equals 12. And then I added those partial products to get my final product. 